you meet your 13 year old self mm. today teleported and and you are able to say a few words to her that'll help her in her future endeavors mm. what what do you think those words would be so i would frame this to my 13 year old self but i'd also frame it to any any young person watching this really two two pieces of crucial advice and i've already touched on them so they're not going to be breaking news <laughs> number one step or I would say jump as far outside of your comfort zone as possible and do that consistently over time until the boundaries of your comfort zone encompass so much that very little ends up intimidating you okay number two is develop a deep sense of self-awareness know who you are confront yourself brutally and honestly consistently over time and do it deliberately and intentionally with the purpose the higher purpose of self-discovery without any other intention and that will do wonders for you you'll know how to pick friends how to curate fun experiences where you want to travel who you want to spend time with what you want to do what career you want to pursue it gives you the sort of the guts and the audacity to do things that people wouldn't otherwise expect you to do to do because they're coming from a place only you know um and again the returns on those on that investment or on both of those investments are um increasing and exponential and continue to increase over the course of your life so long as you continue to redraw those comfort zone boundaries and to reevaluate who you are as a person. Nothing good has ever come from within one's comfort zone. Absolutely not. The most dangerous thing you can do is identify a comfortable spot and stay there. Um, it's it's to the extent that I like to throw myself so far outside of my comfort zone that if I don't feel a physically crippling sense of anxiety in the beginning, to me, it's not far enough. And I know because I identify it, I know I start to get, you know, and whatever that experience is, if I'm moving to a new city or if I'm doing something I've never done before, or if I'm speaking at a stage larger than I've ever spoken before, whatever it is, if it's not, overwhelming me with a crippling sense of anxiety in the beginning i know it's not worth it when i feel that anxiety when i feel my stomach start to turn and i feel my heart start to palpitate and i know this is challenging and scaring me um th that realization alone is enough to actually counterintuitively put me at ease because i know this experience is going to be worth it if it doesn't take me there might be nice it might be you know you get a round of applause or you pat yourself on the back but it's not going to be one of those like defining transformative experiences that you'll look back on and say that moment meant a lot it's almost like you're a discomfort zone junkie for a second i will take that label and run with it <laughs> thank you how funny in a great way by the way because that has propelled you to to being comfortable in almost any situation yeah, and the danger is sometimes when you're, especially in the in 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 the intellectual sort of academic world, it's a little bit different. But when you're in the real world, and you uh, are in a job, right? You start the job, you're a little bit uncomfortable. It's a new job. You prove yourself, right? You surpass expectations. You exceed KPIs. You do a bunch of great things. All of a sudden, that job that you started, that was your discomfort zone, has become really comfortable. A lot of people, once they get there, you know, they've proved themselves, they know their colleagues, they have a great relationship with their boss, their uh, um, performance metrics through the roof, they'll stay there. Why? Because they're good at it. They know what to do. It becomes operational. It becomes autopilot. I think the bravery is, and when you do that, when you achieve the things that you sought out to achieve, when you've contributed enough to say, I'm going to move on to the next thing that... Uh, requires me to step again further outside of my comfort zone and leave room for for this to be someone's new discomfort zone 